I am not satisfied uh, with the fact that the extreme right conservatives gained so much popularity since the last election. And it concerns me because of my liberal views and my personal choices in life. And uh, yes, and what will change for Estonia? Well, the fact that they have tripled in, in their uh, supporters will give them a really strong position in the opposition. And if they do end up in the government, then they will have a really loud voice and then we'll see some policy changes. Either they are talking the truth, which are numbers and facts, or they are talking uh, fear-mongering. And I guess for now, there's probably more fear-mongering. I could even see myself moving to be in some way on their side if they were talking statistics, facts and figures, but unfortunately they're not. I don't think I'm going to be here. I don't think I'm Ammis põhjusel, no, ei tea. I think they are the, they are the big, big things, the big themes. Uh, the, the defense of the Estonian independence. The defense of the uh, um, of the traditional uh, marriage, uh, the de demographic issues, and um, the demographic issue also is immigration and emigration. Emigration is a big thing in Estonia. Uh, the replacement of population in Estonia, Estonians leaving and others coming in. These are these are the big issues that you know compared to those issues some. Um, Tax policy is just meaningless. Thank you and thank you for... Tekra is a party which is also quite a lot person-centered. It's a party which is dominated by a father-son duo, Mart and Martin Helme. I think they might have a slight advantage in this respect in the European elections. But also, I think they might be much more able to mobilize their let's say, Eurosceptical supporters for the European Parliament elections than the rest of the parties would be able to mobilize their non-Eurosceptical supporters.